He is very... Uh, a solitary figure. He's very calm. He's very measured. He thinks through everything. And unlike most politicians who have message gurus or people telling them what to say, he does it all himself in a very calculated fashion. He gets out a, a single sheet of paper. He jots down 15 words, five points. And then that's all it is. And he goes and talks about uh, those issues. That is the way he works. And he does it himself. I, I want to revisit what you just heard there in that report. There's no teleprompter. There are no speechwriters. Trump just at the mic. He scribbles down a few words, and he starts speaking. Take a look at this photo of one of his handwritten talking points from his speech in New Hampshire. There it is. A self, he just writes down self-funding, super PACs, Syrian refugees, Second Amendment, Hillary Clinton, a disaster, <laughs> stock market, and then he just goes. Uh, I'm back with Amorosa, Lisa, Mike, and Ernie, and I, I hear these rallies are like nothing. People that go to them, they, they're the that are people that are accustomed to covering these rallies, will tell me that they're like nothing they've ever seen before. That he just is there, sort of talking off the top of his head, and then interacting with the audience. You've been to a few of isn't these, it, yeah? Isn't it refreshing to have a politician that doesn't have to have a focus group or a poll to tell him what to talk about at a rally? These are his supporters. He truly comes from the heart. He talks about issues that they want to hear, and that's why he. He's connecting with voters one on one. But let's talk about what he's authentic about. He doesn't believe in climate change. So he doesn't believe in science, in other words. He doesn't think women should have the right to choose abortion, even though one in three women in America has had an abortion. I guess they should all be rounded up and taken to prison. I mean, we don't talk about his positions enough. Yes, he's refreshing, but you know, his little list, like he's a five-year-old. Oh, it's so impressive that he could talk about four things. Lisa, yeah, okay. okay. Take politics out of it. The key yeah. to persuasion, identity beats analogy, analogy beats reason, reason beats nothing. You just appeal to reason. That doesn't appeal to anything. Donald Trump gets up there for 90 minutes and appeals to the identity of every single person in that audience, which is why he can do no what wrong. What do you mean? Point. We need to win. Strong. We're winners. They're losers. We're getting beat around the world. You lost your job because we're making bad deals. Vote for me. He's someone who can complain about never being allowed to ride in a Rolls Royce anymore once he's president. And the person with the Chevy Silverado is yucking it up because they connect with Donald Trump on an identity, emotional, deep level. And